A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are on the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Ronald Ray Espartines SVD, Vice Rector of the Shrine. Our celebration will now begin. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, I welcome you all in the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. We are in the compound of Christ the King Mission Seminary in Quezon City, Philippines. We thank God for bringing us far in this journey. He must have a beautiful reason and mission for us why we are still here. But above all else, we thank Him for His faithfulness to us and His power that He can turn our weeping into joy, our suffering into a blessing, and our down moments into breakthrough. So may God come to us always and may we feel His presence deep inside us and through the real presence of Jesus in this holy sacrament of celebration. And so for us to worthily offer ourselves to the celebration, let us first recall our sins and ask God for His pardon and mercy. Together, I confess to Almighty God and, and to, to you, you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king o god almighty father lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god son of the father you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer 
You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good Let us pray, O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling place pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the one who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a barren bush in the desert that enjoys no change of season, but stands in a lava waste assault and empty earth blessed is the one who trusts in the lord whose hope is the lord he is like a tree planted beside the waters that stretches out its roots to the stream it fears not the heat when it comes it leaves stay green in the year of drought it shows no distress but still bears fruit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers.
not so the wicked not so they are like chaff which the winds which the wind drives away for the lord watches over the way of the just but the way of the wicked vanishes <laughs> the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus came down the mountain, he stopped at a level stretch where there were many of his disciples. A large crowd of people was with them from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Then raising his eyes to his disciples, he said, Blessed are you poor, the reign of God is yours. Blessed are you who hunger, you will be filled. Blessed are you who are weeping, you shall laugh. Blessed shall you be when men hate you, when they ostracize you and insult you and proscribe your name as evil because of the Son of Man. On the day they do so, rejoice and exult, for your reward shall be great in heaven. Thus it was their fathers treated the prophets. But woe to you, rich, for your consolation is now. Woe to you who are full, you shall go hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, you shall weep in your grief. Woe to you when all speak 
well of you, their fathers treated the false prophets in just this way. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hello everyone. Sa mga nasa online at nandito po sa loob ng aming simbahan, allow me to warmly welcome you all. We are in the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. According to Jesus, Blessed are the poor. Blessed are those who are hungry. Blessed are those who are weeping. Those who are rejected. And those who feeling down and alone. Kailan po ba ang inyong huling maalala na natagpuan yung inyong sarili na umiiyak o naghahapis? That's we call weeping. When was the last time? Also, you feel so rejected by life or baka you just felt that the world is just so unfair to you? Or did you also experience being hungry but no food to eat? Naala ko tuloy yung nang bata ako may nakita akong pamplet yung isang congressman running for congressman nakita ko yung kanyang pamplet yung to- story na kanyang buhay ang narrative niya may point sa buhay niya na gutom na gutom siya but wala siya makain kaya naging ang motivation niya to study hard kahit once a day lang siya kumakain naala ko din yung nag inaaway ng asawa yung asawa niya lalaki sa tulfo kasi galit sa kanya yung lalaki. Ang problema, siya may trabaho, di na siya binibigyan ng pagkain. Di siya pinapakain. Sabi naman ni Tulfo, kahit galit ka dito sa asawa mo, may obligasyon ka to give her food. That's basic. Or meron ba sa atin dito one time, yung anak mo, nagingin ng pantwisyon. Pero kahit ano gawin talaga, or yung may tatay ba kayo, nanay, nagingin kayo. But they cannot just simply afford Mga kapatid, all these things can make us cry. And not only cry, but weep. Kaya nga po, magandang ginamit ni Jesus yung salitang weeping. Bakit pala? Kasi yung crying, you can cry for many different reasons. Baka siguro yung nanood ka ng basketball, you are so engaged, tapos naka last minute, nanalo yung team mo, out of joy, napaiyak ka. Or you were waiting for a child for so long years, then it was found out you are pregnant, it can bring you joy. Pero yung silitang weeping, ginagamit lang ito sa pag-iiyak with a exact reason. Umiiyak ka because may masakit. Tagos sa kaibuturan ng ating pagkatao at puso yung sakit na ramdaman. Kaya tayo ay nagtatangis. Kasi alam nyo po, karaniwan, ang tao napapayak sa sakit dahil the tears is an alternative for the words. Kasi minsan kasi dahil sa sobrang sakit at naramdaman, uh, our heart is looking for available words to describe what do we feel. Pero some suffering are just too much na kahit anong hugot ng puso natin sa ilalim, no available words to describe the pain. Naala ko tuloy yung sa maalala mo kaya. Tinanong ni Bill Masantos yung kanyang kaibigan kasi yung kanyang anak namatay lang. Ko, Bakit yung may mabalo pag namatay ng asawa may tawag sa kanila? Balo. Bakit yung mga anak pag namatay ng magulang may tawag sa kanila o lila? Pero bakit kami mga nanay na namatay ng anak? Bakit walang tawag sa amin? Hindi yun nasagot ng kaibigan niya. Pero pinag-isipan ko po yun. Walang matawag na sagot kasi the feeling was just so deep and so sacred na no words can really bring it out, can put into words. That's why you call it weeping. Did you also experience one time weeping? Kasi ako, marami akong pinagdaanan sa buhay. Nang one time, eight years ago, yung, yung may sakit pala ako, that would need a uh, malaking expenses and, se- and something fatal. The moment I read the diagnosis, alam nyo, yung mundo ko immediately parang crumble. 
Kaya minsan naalala ko, kahit natutulog ako, nagigising na lang ako because I notice tears are falling into my face. And I believe, that's why I can really relate to those people who are suffering a lot. You may also be experiencing crying while sleeping. Kaya I can also relate to many mothers sa mga nanay na kinikwento sa akin. Hindi daw sila minsan nakakatulog ka agad sa gabi. Or kung nakatulog man sila, maaga sila nagigising. Because thinking of many things, budget, sickness, husband, children, Alam niyo po how I manage myself through it all, how to get myself back to sleep. Well, I pray in silence. I entrust everything to the Lord. Na sabi ko, Lord, I, though I do not understand for now, I know you are here with me. And I keep trusting you that better future is ahead. Whether here or the next. That's the point of Jesus. Some will say, Naho, Father, that's foolish, but I call it faith, and it helped me manage myself, get to my journey this far until today, and made it alive to tell you this story, na para sa akin, the presence of God is really true, and His promises to you and me, He will keep. Ito ang sabi ni St. Paul, kung kayo mo po pinagdaanan ngayon, at lumalaban pa kayo ngayon until today, Yung paglalaban nyo ngayon is not in vain, is not empty. Because kung si Jesus na matay, muling nabuhay, tayo din kanya isasama sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay. Ibabangon niya tayo, both inside and out. That's why faith is very important. Let Jesus live in you. Let Jesus live in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, in your family. Tell yourself makakabangon. Sabi sa first part ng gospel, Blessed are those who are suffering. Naala ko yung kwento na napanood kong movie back in 2006. Sana'y napanood niyo to? Yung The Pursuit of Happiness by Will Smith. Ito pala'y true story ng isang tatay. The pr- ang pangalan ng true story si Chris Gardner. Ngayon, ang kwento doon, Siya ay isang tatay is struggling para buhay na kanya pamilya to keep his wife and child. And since salesman siya, alam niyo naman, hindi naman uh, stable ang sales that time. So yung asawa niya, in- impatient na sa kanya. He is not earning a lot. Tapos anong nangyari? To cut the story short, iniwanan siya na kanyang asawa. Na pinapanood ko yun, until today, I don't want to judge the wife. She must have her own reason. We can be bitter for people who left us during our downtime, but they must have their own reason, line of world, the back they need more time to think about their actions. So for me, no judgment. Sabi ni doon sa kwento, uh, dahil nga wala siya nabibenta, natutulog na lang siya na kanyang anak doon sa silob ng CR kasi wala na silang matirahan. Luminyo na lang sila doon sa food, sa free food area. Tapos, ba't di nawawala yung kanyang perseverance? One day, napadaan siya sa isang may magandang sasakyan. Tinanong niya, how did you get that car? Sabi niya, because sabi, I am working as stock broker. How, how did you get there? I, I educate myself and I applied. So, nag-apply siya paging stockbroker. Kahit six months, walang bayad, he really, he really push. To the, in short, nakapagtrabaho siya. He was admitted. And everything turned out fine in his life. Mga kapatid, your hunger, your weeping, your poverty, your being rejected, Whatever bad situation you are now, right now, tell yourself it's not final. Your situation right now is not your final destination, but your the plan for God for you. That's the my that's the, the the plan. So when you believe in God, the more you will believe in yourself, and His strength will get you through to your future goals, and sooner your goals will become your present reality. So thank God you are here. 
to receive God's presence in your life. Kasi he, is, he will always remain faithful. He knows what you are undergoing. Naala ko po pala yung kwento ni Moses. Why Moses was called to lead the Israelite? Kasi sabi doon sa, you, go, you have to go back to Exodus story. Tinawag ni ng Diyos si Moses para maging leader ng mga Israelite. Kasi sabi ni Lord, uh, itong sabi niya, I heard the weeping of my own people. Narinig ko yung tangis na aking sariling mga anak. At nasaksihan ko sa aking mga mata ang kanilang paghihirap. That's why I will get out of my way and do something. I will intervene. Sabi naman ni Moses, Why me? Di ko kakayanin ito. Sabi naman ni Lord, I will be with you. So friends, God knows and He will be with you. He will be faithful to His promises. Kaya nga po, during this Holy Mass, sana mamaya pagtaas ng body and blood of Jesus, kindly tell in silence, My Lord and my God, wag anong lakasan, na naalala ko doon sa, nang bata ako, My Lord, my God, yung matanda, My Lord, my God, ako, nakikig ako, and na, na, na-surprise tuloy ako, kindly do it in silence, My Lord and my God, and when you feel so desperate and confused, you say, Come Holy Spirit, Come with your strength and your power. Come with your most special way. Give me peace. Rule me. Work in me. Lead me. Let me see what you see in me. Let me feel what you want me to feel. Widen my understanding. Deepen my sight. Heal me. Help me accept your divine will for me. To close this homily, I would like you to join me in praying the prayer which I composed for today. Lalabas po dyan sa screen and in the online. But if you have difficulty reading it, just listen to the text and script I am reading for you. I am posting this every day sa Words of Light or Pat Facebook. You can follow and like if you want daily updates. Together, Almighty God, Thank you for your love and faithfulness in my life. You are the reason for my being and the purpose to keep me going in my life through it all. Father, I am confident and not afraid to face life's pain and uncertainties because I know that you are always at my side. You are my light in moments of darkness and my hope in times of distress and sorrow. Father, look after me the whole day. Help me to remain faithful, accepting, and calm even when the situations around me do not turn out the way I expected them to happen. Strengthen my heart so that I will have enough determination to give a good fight and not to allow problems to take down my commitment in living a full life in spite of it all. In Jesus' name, Amen. We continue glorifying the name of God as we continue this Holy Mass. Kindly rise. Together we proclaim our beautiful faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayer of the faithful, conscious of God's blessings to us, let us raise our voices to our Heavenly Father as we pray for the needs of the whole church. Full of confidence, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. For the shepherds of the church, may they put their hope in the Lord, who strengthens those who serve his people with integrity. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. For those who aspire to hold public office in our country, may they have the wisdom, the courage, and the honesty to use their gifts and resources in the service of the country, especially for the poor and the powerless. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. For those who are in the front lines against the COVID-19 pandemic, may they find hope, affection, and assistance from the local authorities and their communities. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. For our beloved dead, may God's mercy be upon them that they may reach eternal life with him. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people who hope in your infinite mercy may these petitions help us to see our blessedness above all material goods careers or honor we ask this through christ our lord amen come to me and drink come to me and drink oh let all who are thirsty come to me and drink i will put my spirit within you and you shall live and know that i am the lord come to me and drink Come to me and drink, O oh, let all who are thirsty, come to me and drink. I will pour my spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Come to me and drink, come to me and drink, oh let all who are thirsty, come to me and drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore this gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Onesto Ongchoco our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers and hopes into one, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not into our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Ang kapayapaan ng ating Panginoong Diyos ay lagi sumain nyo. At sumain nyo. Tayo po ay magbigayan ng kapayapaan sa isa't isa. Peace to everyone, those in the online, both YouTube and Facebook. Peace to all of you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Jesus, words of love. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Jesus, Lamb of God. of the world grant us peace sisters and brothers this is our lord jesus christ the father promised moses i will always be with you and this happened when, especially when he sent his son, Jesus, to all of us to turn our weeping into joy, to bring healing to our brokenness, and to complete our hope and turn it into reality. So let us save him, for he is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are you who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which you truly live through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. 
Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod, Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renademitz, kindly be seated for a short announcement. As we are now under alert level two, the diocesan shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, now welcomes all fully vaccinated individuals in the celebration of the Holy Mass inside the shrine up to 50% capacity and outside the shrine up to 90% capacity. Our regular Mass schedule is as follows. Weekdays and Saturdays, 6.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. See you all soon. Thank you, Reverend Father Ronnie Quesostomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. Remain seated. Uh, ako pala si Father S. Partines, Vice Rector ng Simbahan, at saka chaplain ng social media, yung manandyan ngayon sa camera. Uh, una muna, I would like to greet you in advance. Happy Valentine's. Araw ng mga puso bukas, love is powerful because it binds us, drives us, motivate us. Uh, pero sabi daw, ano, araw ng mga, sana araw din ng mga isip, pero sana araw, bukas araw ng katapatan that we commit to the Lord to continue to live full life. So be very strong to those who are undergoing something God is always faithful. And about faithfulness, alam niyo po pala, itong social media namin, tinitinan ko yung numbers namin sa iba, kinukompare ko. Ang iba mga simbahan, bumababa na yung kanila mga numbers ng mga live audience. But the shrine, I'm a fit, faithful follower. We are sustaining the number. I think some of you are in abroad, most of you. And I think some in the Philippines, but for a reason na hindi makapunta sa loob ng simbahan, you chose online and to be with us. So thank you for your faithfulness. But this faithfulness to bring you Jesus won't be possible without the faithful people who for two years is with us, helping and serving us. Yung social media ministry at the back which I am their social media director, but we have a backbone, a very faithful and trusted person, Alan Robinson. Thank you so much.
for your faithfulness in serving the people of God. I would like to include Teresa Ocampo. And yung na uh, sitting in the computer, Jane Gooding. And sitting also in the computer, Divine Rieras. And members of the Young Ambassador for Christ and Seminarians of Christ the King Mission Seminary. We will continue to be faithful to you because you have been so faithful to us sa Christ the King Seminary and the Daisies and Shrine. Thank you so much for being with us. I noticed the COVID numbers is getting steadily decreasing. So thanks be to God. So thanks. See you through and through in the coming days in the, in the Daisies and Shrine of the Divine Word. So God bless. God bless everyone. Happy Valentine's once again. Magsitayo po tayo. Naala ko rin. Of course, the mass will not be possible without the lectors, commentators, <laughs> and the choir. And of course, our Shrine Pastoral Council, our lay leaders, lay ministers, and especially the donors and benefactors of the Jesus and Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Pagli